Well, hello everybody. My name is Paul Landberg and I'm a member of the training department here at Graco. With me today is Tamar Madkur. Tamar is the Global Product Marketing Manager for our Oil and Natural Gas Division. Welcome, Tamar. Thanks, Paul. Good to be here. Today we're going to talk about pump controllers and we have a number of pump controllers for different applications but also for different budgets. That is correct. So starting off with the Harrier EZ controller or one of our most basic controllers. That's correct. So the controllers again is part of our modular product offering. Uh, the Harrier EZ is for DC power, uh, but it also packs a lot of neat features. Um, first and foremost, it, it runs in time mode. So when you say time mode, just to stop you for a moment, it's basically saying it's like a timer. It's timing how long it should be off and how long it should be on or vice versa. That's correct. Okay. Uh, a simple timer. Correct. All right. Um, it also has the ability to monitor voltage and has a built-in low voltage disconnect switch. Um, there's a there's a, an option for prime mode, which gives you 30 seconds to prime your pump, okay. and you have the ability to pick up temperature through a temp probe that comes standard with this controller. All right. And now the Harrier controller, I see that's both time and cycle control. That's correct. So that's the main difference between the Harrier Easy and this Harrier controller is the fact that you can set the on-off time, but also uh, pick up cycle counts on, on, your, uh, on your pump. Explain cycle counts to me real quick. What, do, what is it counting or what, what uh, designates that? It's counting the number of revolutions your pump cam is spinning. Okay. And this is gonna feed that information back to your controller. Um, in a nutshell, it allows for better ac dosing accuracy. That's what it's all about, just more accuracy. Correct. So tell me about the Harrier AC controller. So the Harrier AC controller is basically the AC version of the Harrier controller, which okay. means it also runs in time and cycle mode. Uh, the key, another key feature to remember with the Harrier AC controller is that it actually comes as a standalone controller or it can be mounted on your pump. As it's shown in the picture there. That's right. So Tamar and our highest level controller, with in terms of bells and whistles anyway, the Harrier Plus controller. Tell me about that. Correct. So the Harrier Plus is uh, our top of the line uh, pump controller, um, both for AC and DC powered pumps. And it adds another dimension. It adds flow control. Correct. So Tell although you can run the pump using this controller in time and cycle mode, but it has a new mode, flow mode, that gives you even more accurate dosing. And tell me about flow control just a little bit, if you will. So flow control, basically you are you are inputting, instead of time and cycle, you're actually telling the controller uh, how much flow you need per day. Okay. And it will actually monitor uh, the revolutions of your cam. It'll speed up, or sorry, it'll increase or decrease the on and off time okay. to nail exactly the required um, flow that you input in your controller. So it's all about, uh, again, controlling the amount and getting more precise as we go up the ladder of these controllers. That's correct. As you go up the ladder, you're getting more accurate dosing and you are embarking on additional uh, features. And that stands for really in the end, more accurate dosing, saving more money. That's right, Paul. I mean, this is all really going to come down to how much savings you, uh, you, you're you really look, uh, looking to get. I mean, with as you go up in accuracy, you're obviously going to be saving money uh, specifically on chemical use. So a couple of other key features I want to mention, Paul, is the fact that the Harrier Plus is approved for hazardous location. It's actually UL certified to Class 1 Division 2. Okay. Um, another thing I want to mention is the fact that with the Harrier Plus, you actually have the ability of controlling and monitoring your pump remotely. And this is done either through a cellular network or if you're connected to a Modbus system. So when we talked about saving money, we're talking about the difference here about sending a person out to check on a pump versus being able to do it from their office, for instance. That's actually true. So you're going to save money on chemical use by just having a more accurate controller. Right. But the remote monitoring piece is really going to help save a lot of, uh, you know, time, uh, uh, you know, and that's, and that's really that operator's time going out to the field, servicing the pump, uh, seeing if the pump is even running or not. Uh, you're going to save a lot of time by utilizing the automation features in this controller. Well, that's huge. Tamara, thanks again for the time. Um, we appreciate you speaking with us today in regard to all of our controllers. Thanks, Paul.